In this segment, we're going to talk about backgrounds in Tapio Rasa and how important they can be for building a nice remote control. The first thing we're going to do is start from scratch. So go to Edit, Edit Remote, and in the lower right hand corner, we're going to clear out off the screen. So we tap on that, we get the option here to delete all, and we're going to select that. Now we have our blank slate. Let's press Add Background and look at our options. We have solid colors, gradients, and textures. Let's try, try textures. Let's go to Palm Beach. This is just one of the examples of a good background. But now we start to get really creative and we go to My Pictures. Now we have the option to do anything. We can select all types of different backgrounds. So we're going to go to My Safe Photos here. This time we're going to select a pre-drawn remote control. So we drew this earlier. Let's look at some other options. Let's go to Add Background and My Pictures. And you can select, for instance, to choose um, something nice, a little dog and a cat. This is very nice, but perhaps not so functional. Let's look at another mind-blowing remote control. We're going to go to Pictures again. But this time, we're going to look at a picture that we've taken of, let's say, our living room. This isn't exactly our living room, but this is an example of a living room. Here we are at a conference. And now we've taken this picture and we're going to add buttons. Let's add a button on top of the TV. So now what we can do is we can add functions to that button. This time we're just going to choose a sound effect. Here we go. Just choose yes. And when we're done here, if somebody comes in and says, hey, how do I turn on the TV? You just say, just tap on the TV. So to summarize, you can take pictures of your living room, you can take pictures of remote controls and virtualize them, or you can draw your own remote control. You can then add functionality by overlaying transparent buttons on top of strategic points.